never use a real key again. Today we're going to show you how to install and set up the Yale Assure Lock, which is completely keyless, has Bluetooth built in. We're going to get it set up with smart things and control it with our voice through Alexa. Next. Hi, I'm Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. Today we are looking at the Assure Lock by Yale with Bluetooth. And what we're going to do is go ahead and get that installed, get it working with smart things, and control it with Amazon Alexa. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's inside. All right, let's get the box opened up and get all our parts ready to install. Parts out. Alright, now we got everything out. Take a look at the instructions and get the old door off. Alright, all locks are a little bit different, but um, all you gotta do is go to your deadbolt, that's what we're replacing. And just find the screws. They're either going to be on the inside or the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and remove our existing deadbolt. So it should come off now. It's just it's going to be a little bit of paint there sticking. All right, I'm going to pull off the other side here. really sticky with the paint. And then what I like to do is actually go ahead and shut that there. Is just put these, put it all back together and just put it in a safe place. So if you ever need to take this expensive lock off and replace it with a basic one or another dead bolt in your house breaks, you'll have a spare ready to go. The other thing we need to do is remove this part that's on the inside. So I'm going to use the one that came with our lock. It's a little bit different because it has a, a good taper on it and that assures that when it goes into the hole on the other side that it will fit without any resistance. So we're going to use the one that came with our new lock here. Right. On the end all you need to do is remove these two screws here. completely off and now what we need to do is put the new one on okay we are about to install the new deadbolt here and the instructions recommend getting this app it's called built and what it does is it has interactive um, instructions much better than reading paper um, so we're going to install this new deadbolt and I'm going to get the app open and bring that up on the screen um, when you first get into the app, it just uh, looks like this. And I'll have that up on the screen for you. You just choose your product here at the bottom. And choose your actual product. And you can register and check your warranty and all that stuff. But what we're going to do is go ahead and install this. Um, it's got the tools, you know, average time that it's going to take and all the parts that you're going to need. So let's just hit next there. Okay, so the first step is to install this little guy. And my my hole is actually a little bit small, so I'd take a drill and just make that a little bit larger. Um, so you just take this and stick it in the hole. 
still a little tight. Let's go ahead and easily push it in there. All right. And then we take our screwdriver and we're just gonna put the two screws in on the top and the bottom. All right, so we have both screws in, top and bottom. I decided to leave the original strike plate on the side. So we are skipping that step. All right, now we are going to take our keypad here. And we're gonna install this on the outside of the door. All right, so we wanna make sure that this goes, the white cable goes underneath the latch. All right, just like that. Now on this part, which is the inside part, you just wanna remove this cover here. And then you take the mounting plate that goes on the inside and you pass the cable through down here and this will slide in here just like that and this rubber gasket will make sure it you know stays airtight and watertight okay Then you take these gold screws here and we're going to put them right through these holes. And those will thread into the outside part. And you can pull out, pull out the outside part just a little bit. So when you put the screw through here, it's gonna go through the hole in the center part and then into the threads on the outside part. So now we are going to put on the inside part for the manual operation here. And you do want to be sure that this is vertical and this is horizontal here. And that will slide right in. Um, before we do that, this white cable is going to come in and there's a little black hook right here. You want the cable to be right in, right along this and underneath this black hook here. All right, so we plugged it in at the top and we're gonna make sure it gets underneath that little hook there. You can kind of see how it looks in there. And then this, we'll just go right into that little hole there little black screws here and they go right in here from left and right and we'll just get that one started and now that my other hand is freed up the next one will be a lot easier I'll just put it right on the tip of the screwdriver and it in there. All right, so that is good and sturdy. Now you just want to make sure that the door does open and close. It's nice and easy. That's good. And I have the Z-Wave model. So this little module here goes right up in the top and you can see there's a little spot where it plugs in there and that corresponds to that spot up here on the right side. So we're gonna plug that in. Let's 
Yep, it's in there. All right, so we just gonna install the batteries as shown here. We're just gonna alternate all the way through. talking to us and now we can put this cover back on there we go everything looks good okay so the first thing we want to do we're on the outside now is remove this protective film and just tap it with three fingers to unlock it. Register master code. Press the gear key to continue. I'm going to hit the gear key. Enter a four to eight digit pin code. Press the gear key. key to continue. One, two, three, four. Registered. Factory reset completed. Touch the keypad for handing lock. Handing lock failed. Check the lock. Okay, I think we were, why we were getting that error is because the hole for the deadbolt is just not deep enough here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a chisel and we're going to make that a little bit deeper. We already have our master code is one, two, three. Hello. All right, master code, one, two, three, four, gear icon. Menu mode, enter number. Press the gear key to continue. Press two. Register user code. Pre Press key. one to register a code. Register user code. Press the gear key to continue. Pin code registration. Enter a four to eight digit pin code. Press the gear key to continue. Uh, let's just do two, two, eight. Registered. Press the check key to complete. Completed. All right, and that is how you add a user code. So you wake it up with three fingers, type in your click the check mark, it unlocks. Now if you're just leaving for the day, all you have to do to lock it is hit three fingers. And it locks. So that's just the basic operation without any special stuff. So we'll go ahead and do that one more time. Unlock it. Check mark. Unlock. If you have any questions or have any trouble installing your lock, just leave a comment down below. I'll leave a link to all the stuff that you need in the video description. And yeah, like, share, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Once again, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three.